Hey everybody. I wanted to share with you something that my friends and I have been working on for the past year or so. You may have heard me mention it in passing in some of my videos or comments, but I didn't want to say too much about it until I had something real to show. The Lusitania, seen here departing from New York City on what would be her final voyage. A few days later, she's torpedoed and sunk by U-20 with a loss of nearly 1,200 souls. While it wasn't the tipping point to bring the United States into the First World War, it was enough to help the country choose which side it would eventually be on. The Lusitania was opulent, sleek, and the embodiment of the Victorian era, which had ended only a few years prior. In my opinion, she was far more stately than the White Star Liners. Wouldn't it be incredible to walk her decks, explore some of her masterfully crafted interiors, and witness her sinking in real time? Well, we're doing just that. We're bringing the ship back to life like never before with a virtual museum experience. This is a small-scale project, self-funded and done in our free time. We've all got full-time jobs, but we're targeting to release this later this year on Steam. It'll feature an accurately detailed model of the entire exterior and about 50-70% to 70 of the ship's public spaces, including almost all of first and third class, all wrapped up with a fully revisited, researched from scratch sequence of the 18 minute disaster made in extensive collaboration with who we feel are the top authorities on the subject. I had wanted to bring a real time element to the stories of these ships since the mid 2010s, actually when I saw a documentary in real time that was really well done about 9-11. It was not animated, it was all just real life footage that were shot amateurly of the uh, of the attacks, but it, ha it was so impactful, I was honestly emotional after watching it. But I wanted to bring that to the stories of shipwrecks, which is why I then actually in 2016 made the real-time sink of the Titanic with THG, followed by the Britannic, and then the SS Atlantic, which is actually on this channel. Others on YouTube have actually followed that idea since then as well. So always incorporating a real-time connection that allows you to experience it like somebody who was actually there is always very important. And we're going to be seeing that as well with the Lusitania here. So let's take a quick look at this project's deck officer lineup. This is being produced by Levi Rourke and I. He and I were actually the developers slash producers of Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean, which gave the HMHS Britannic the same treatment that we are giving Lusitania now. In fact, Levi had made a small-scale Lusitania experience several years back, but he took that down since then because he feels that we are up to something so much better with this project. In fact, most of the Lusitania animations that you might see online right now are based entirely off of the research that he did in his project. While we developed Britannic, this time around there is an entirely new asset developer lineup. Among them is Liam Sharp, a talented modeler with a keen eye for accuracy. You may know him on Instagram as Vintage Liner Archive. Then there's Lucas Gustafsson. Many of you may know his earlier work that he did on SketchUp. There's also Mike Brady of Ocean Liner Designs and Illustrations, putting several months of effort into making sure that our hull is authentic and detailed. He made the gorgeous hull texture that we used in our 2021 Historian edition of Titanic's real-time sinking. But it's no surprise that he's good at it. He specializes in detailed ship profile artwork, and you can find him at LinerDesigns.com. Brady Guzik has been modeling various elements, and the outstanding 2D artistry of Emma Linsky is going into the textures. She's meticulously recreating the ship's fabrics and patterns on the computer, and even recreating in real life, later to be scanned, some of the ship's oil paintings. This is a good team. We're able to do things now that we were not able to do previously. However, there's no way that a team can make a good ship recreation without the ongoing involvement of a knockout historian team. There are a number of people helping with this small experience. Mike Poirier and Jay Kent Layton are helping with the events of the voyage and sinking, and Bill Sauter and Stuart Williamson are helping with the technical details of the ship's anatomy. We even have Father Roberto Peroni, the incredible modeler who, with the help of Ken Marshall and Eric Sauter, built the stunning cross-section models of the Titanic, Lusitania, and Normandy on display on the Queen Mary. We've also partnered with the Dive Team Project 17, who have dived the wreck of the Lusitania more than any other group, and whose stalwart reputation has earned them the trust of navies around the world. 
With this team of amazing people, we're able to comb over the Lusitania and rebuild her in fine detail. We're gaining an intimate knowledge of not just what the ship looked like, but how it functioned, which allows us to fill in the gaps and documentation with educated inferences. The ship will also have sheer and camber throughout her interiors, a challenge that many are not willing to take on, but our crack team of modelers are. There will always be a margin of error that we simply cannot overcome in our models, but we are striving to bring our recreations as close to the original liner as possible over a hundred years after the fact. We're in the final stretch. We waited so long to share details about this project until we had something to show in order to prove to people that we are truly doing what we set out to do. We're excited about this project. We've been excited about this project. We're not asking anything of you. As I said, this project is entirely self-funded. However, if you want to follow for updates on the project, stay tuned on this channel, and also keep an eye on the Facebook page for HFX Studios. That's my studio company that I haven't even had a chance to really promote. But that is where you will find updates, and we're going to be doing updates on this channel about once a month until release in a few months. Thank you very much.